Okay, now I'm not because boom. That's where positive punishment comes into the equation. Holding him accountable long term will- Just throwing around science now. Yeah. Let's see if it's accurate. Okay. Really help him develop to understand, yeah, there's another dog, but I have to stay in this sit because I don't want to get in trouble. And then in the future, you shouldn't have to really- But again, that's not where positive punishment comes into play. It depends on what stage of the training process you're at. Let's take yeah. that exact same situation. We're working with him. We're teaching <laughs> sit, right? And he does not do the sit because he's distracted by the dog over there. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm currently using negative reinforcement <laughs> to increase my sits, I'm just going to use negative reinforcement yeah. at that point. Yeah. If I'm just using food and uh, I don't have any training collars on my dog, I may use negative punishment, which means I withhold the food as a punishment for not paying attention to me any longer. Yeah. Right? It doesn't automatically equate to that. All this has to do is not what's going on around you. It has to do with where in the training process are you at with your dog.